Hi everyone, my name's Connor McDonald. Welcome to the KISS series, the Keeping It Simple with SQL, focusing on partitioning. Each of these sessions are quick introductory sessions into the topic of partitioning, but unlike other tutorials, these are focused on developers. In the world of DevOps, developers now have to understand some of the physical design characteristics of partitioning. In this session, we're going to talk about local versus global indexes and why you would choose one over the other. As a quick recap, we saw that a global index spans all the partitions, and we saw that a local index creates a partition for each table partition. We also noted that when we drop a partition for a global index, the entire index gets made unavailable, whereas if we do it for a locally partitioned index, dropping a table partition only affects the relevant partitions. This might lead you to thinking, well, local indexes so far have all just been a good story and that global indexes have just been a bad story and therefore I should never use them. Is that true? No, it's not. If local indexes were better in all cases, global indexes simply wouldn't exist. The reason we have both is to handle the different usage models that you might require when you're building applications. If I have a local index, for example, on my customer column here, what happens when I do select from sales where customer equals 123? That's actually quite expensive because customer 123 might be in any of those local partitions. I have to do four index traversals to see what's going on. It might be worse. As we spoke about before, you could have subpartition tables. If a table is subpartitioned, for example, by year and then by, say, car manufacturer, then looking for a customer 123 might be looking at dozens of subpartitions to actually go and through get that data. It could be very expensive to do queries for a particular customer. You can see that in the execution plan when you start seeing these multiple partition traversals. Yes, I'm doing an index lookup, but you can see in this case, I was actually scanning 13 different partitions to find that customer information. What if that index was a global index? Now, when I'm going to find a particular customer, it's all co-located in a single index structure. In this case, a global index is perhaps the best option if customer queries are a vital part of your application. Just in case you're thinking, oh, I should only then use global indexes for lookups then. Well, the answer to that is maybe. It may well be the case that your application when they're doing queries by customer defaults to also including a year. Show me the customers for the current year or particular year. If your application does that, then you would get significant benefits by still having that index as local because the addition of the year predicate is going to be enough to make sure that you only have to span one index partition because you know the partition of relevance is for the year 2010. Always keep in mind the application requirements you have. If you can get away with local partitioning everywhere and still meet all your business requirements, that is probably the way to go. But don't dismiss global indexes out of hand. They can be very, very useful for fast, efficient index lookups. Thanks very much for watching. You can get the entire video series on partitioning from the playlist or just head over to asktom.oracle.com slash partitioning for developers. And don't forget to keep it simply SQL. See you all soon.